Hello and welcome to Fractal Model 22.6. We are really excited about the three updates we have for you. The first is that you can now run up to 40 years of prices in the optimizer and you can do that all at once. The second is that the pricing calculator has been updated with the ability to input commodity prices. And the last is we have improved some of the debt features in the cash flow. So let's jump in. First, a brief overview of the Fractal model. The Fractal model can do standalone storage, it could do solar plus storage, it could do wind plus storage, it can even do things like wind plus solar plus storage. You could do lots of different configurations, different sizings, durations, you could do different type of financials where the project lasts 20 years, 35 years, 40 years, you could put debt on it. So very flexible in what you can put into the model and you could do AC coupled, DC coupled. Uh, as you go through the different tabs, you'll be able to input CapEx, OpEx, as mentioned, things like debt. You can also configure the physics of the fractal model. You could put in different efficiency curves for the different components. You can tweak the degradation curve. You could do different types of oversizing versus augmentations. And you can optimize your oversizing and augmentation strategy based on your future pricing curves for batteries, for EPC, for container cost. You can also input your generation curves for solar or for wind or combinations thereof, and you can put in different types of loads. On the applications page, you can configure the types of services you want to perform, whether that's energy and ancillary uh, like regulation or spin, and you can put in more seasonal prices on this page, but you can also put in higher resolution prices in the optimizer portion, and we'll get to that. On this page, if you are doing some initial analysis, you can use this to do more of a seasonal type of dispatch, whereas in a few minutes, I'll show you how to do very high resolution dispatch using the optimizer. Everything goes into the cash flow as far as financials. That includes CapEx, OpEx, debt, any type of reserve funds, and also the ability to release funds at different points, different months. On the sensitivity tab, you can put in different scenarios for how your OPEX or your revenues might change. Uh, so maybe you have a step change, whether that's up or down for a particular cost. And when you tweak that, your rate of return will change because your cash flow is changing. If you're interested in a full offtake of your battery and or solar, you can come to this page and take a look at what the tolling arrangement might be uh, for you to achieve a certain rate of return. And you can do the analysis for your off taker to see how well they will do by leveraging your project. And then finally, remember that you can create reports with the fractal model and these PDFs can be given to either your off taker or to financiers uh, or people within your organization to understand how well the project works. Now let's talk about the first update, and that is in addition to the pricing calculator, Fractal is able to leverage some of the pricing data that we see in helping all of our clients. Unfortunately, the prices have gone up recently and that's reflected in our estimates. What we've added is the ability to index lithium carbonate. And you can see here that we have an input on what that price or that index might be, uh, depending on the battery company that's giving you a quote. This helps you understand the sensitivity to lithium. And as we change the price, you can see that the adder for an increase in this commodity will affect the overall price. The first thing to do is to put the fractal model into the optimizer mode. So go to the drop down, go to this one, press OK, and then also go to hourly co optimization. After about a minute, click on the Market Prices tab. And here you will see that we can now enter multiple years worth of prices, both energy and ancillary prices. And this is how you're going to be able to run multiple years of Optimizer at once. The next step is to go to the Schedule page. Since we're here, we might as well open up the Optimizer. Once you've loaded up your prices, click on the Schedule page and decide how many years you want to run. So you could go 
of course, from year one to year 20. Uh, you may not start with year one because your COD may be different from the data set that you receive. So we have some flexibility in when you start, put in whatever years make sense, and then hit get schedule. Give it a few minutes because we are going through timestamp by timestamp over, in this case, 20 years of optimization. So we're seeing which services we should do at certain times of the day. After a few minutes, we've gone through that optimization. You can see on the chart that's populated on the left, we have kind of different stacks during different parts of the year. And this will result in different revenue streams as this project progresses through its life. The next step is to dispatch this schedule so that the physics and the financials can reflect this schedule. So we'll hit the dispatch button. And after a few minutes, if we go from our schedule page to our dashboard, you can see that we have a certain type of dispatch for this standalone storage. And now with the prices that we inputted, we are optimized for this battery project. For the last update that involves debt, I'm going to let Rahul, Cyrus, and Sean walk you through those. Please reach out to them if you want to walk through the new debt functionality. Well, that is Fractal Model 22.6. We thank you for being subscribers to the Fractal Model. We look forward to helping you. And if you would like a demo of the Fractal Model, please reach out to us. We're happy to do so. Have a great day.